Hello everybody, back here for my part two of my round table refinishing for Idiot's Guide to Woodworking here. And basically what I've got so far, I figured I'd go ahead and show you. I've got, I'd say that side's pretty close to being roughed in for sanded down. I've got a really bad knot hole there. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with it. I don't like the way it's got some open grain. I might have to do some kind of sealer in it or something like that. But as you come across, you can see this side over here is not anywhere near done yet. Um, there's quite a bit of stain and varnish or whatever. I'd say stains. It's an odd, really super dark, like really dark walnut color in there. I did not like that at all. So I'm trying to get all that out of there so I can have it more of a natural looking um, tabletop. There's a little bit left right over here. You can kind of see it's a little dark right in here also. I'm going to probably try and send it back down. That's going to be done with my random orbital sander. So far, all I've been doing is using my... Um, belt sander right there and a little handheld version and it seems to be doing a pretty good job so far i've been working that side i've been rotating it back and forth this side's back over toward my side of the table at the moment i do have it clamped down just lightly because i'm getting tired of chasing it all the time and being a round piece of wood it's hard to prop against an edge normally with my belt sander i have a little um, cheek block that i was using and it just does not seem to want to work in the round it keeps wanting to spin on me so i went ahead and used the clamp that's over there so if that's something you're needing to work on definitely a little clamp works great also underneath i have a couple um, two by fours to help balance it because like i said earlier in the first episode it has that center brace beam and i did not take that beam out yet I think I'll wait, um, get it all stripped down and stuff, and then check for straightness and that kind of thing and see where I'm at. So the table definitely has some warp in it. I just gotta figure out exactly where it's warped out at. So I hopefully it'll be easier to figure out once it's dull and it's not shiny anymore. So I still have a lot of work to do here. Like I said, I went through two different belts already, my sanding abrasive. Um, Got the dust somewhat cleaned up, vacuumed up a little bit in that, and then blew it off and that let the air compressor warm back up, or pump back up. Also, I wanted to let my sander cool down. This baby was plenty warm. It's actually, you know, not feels fine now. It's cooled off plenty. I went inside, ate something. Um, this thing runs, it's got variable speed. I've been running it about, just about high on like five, I think it goes up to six, and just working it for I don't know, a couple hours now. And that thing definitely does not like to have that long of a run. So I'm shutting it off, letting it rest, doing some other stuff, coming back to the table. Plus it gets really boring and really old really quick doing this kind of work. So I think my plan is for this edge, like I said before, I really hate this lip right here. And also saying the edge is gonna be kind of a pain in the butt. So I think what I might do is come in with a different router bit and put a different edge on it. And that way I can do two things at once. One, I'll get rid of the edge I don't like. And then two, I'll also be able to go ahead and kind of do a lot of my sanding for me. And all I have left to do is this flat side here. I'll have to sand down before I refinish. I also have that really bad scratch. Not sure it's gonna show up on here or not. That scratch right there is just, it's still in there. I've got some more work to do. I hate the idea of how to take it all the way down. It's really, really deep, but I've got it close enough now. I think I can hopefully finish it out and then put a few coats of polyurethane on here and call it a day. So I'm hoping this will be done by, I don't know, maybe next week. If I finish sand it up, maybe today, put the routered edge on it, figure I'm gonna do it at the bottom and then start polyurethane in it. Probably on Monday, Tuesday, I'll start. Probably take me four coats, maybe five coats, and see what we come up with. So, anyway, I'll talk to you at the end of the day or sometime tomorrow. Thank you much.